Today we will be learning how to determine the specific gravity of fine aggregates. Starting off with the pycnometer, a 500 milliliter pycnometer is filled with water at 25 degrees Celsius, deionized water. We have our cone, tamping rod, and a funnel. Uh, for our sample, we have material, a sand material that is passing the number four screen. And to prepare this material, we got approximately a thousand grams of passing four sand. We put it in a bag and we saturated it with 6% water. So although you can't really tell, this sample isn't dry. It has some moisture in it. And that will be the material and the equipment used to calculate the specific gravity fine. First measurement that we need to take is the weight of our pycnometer filled with water to this calibrated line. So we'll weigh that and we'll determine that weight at 25 degrees Celsius. So 643.7. So up next, we want to determine if our aggregates are at the SSD condition. And that's done using the cone and the tamping rod. So what I'm gonna do is transfer the aggregate to this solid surface. So I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. And the way to determine if our aggregates are at SSD is by taking this cone and filling up the cone. And we're going to strike the surface flat and we're going to clear out the remaining aggregate from the sides without disturbing the cone. Now we're going to take our tamping rod and we're going to drop it from a height of 5 millimeters for 25 times but we need to adjust the height every time the top of the sample goes down. So, one, adjust it, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 25 times, five millimeters approximately, and we remove the cone, nothing happens. So what we wanna see when we remove the cone and our aggregate is at saturated surface dry conditions, we want to see that one side of the cone slightly slumps. And when it gets to that condition, we know that the, the aggregate is at the SSD condition. So for the sake of time, we're going to say that our aggregates are at SSD condition. And we're going to take this material and we're gonna weigh out 500 grams. Okay, so now that our mass is exactly at 500 grams, we're gonna take this material and transfer it into our pycnometer. So, before we do that, we need to empty out some of this because the weight of that soil is gonna push up our water and we don't want it to overflow out of the top. So we'll put our cone on there, and we'll transfer the 500 grams into our pycnometer. So once all of our material is transferred in there, we can now fill it almost all the way to the top with deionized water. So here's our calibrated line. Now what we want to do is we want to roll our sample to make sure that all the air bubbles get out of the sample. And this generally takes 10 to 15 minutes. 
So once we've wiped off all the excess moisture and filled it back up to the calibrated line, we're gonna put our sample back onto the scale. So now we have the mass, which is gonna be the mass of water plus the sample plus the pycnometer. And once we do that and grab that weight, again, we're gonna take an empty pan weight So we're going to grab the weight of this empty pan and then we're going to take our sample from here and we're going to transfer it into this pan. Make sure we get all the fines out of here. Okay. So now we'll take this pan to the oven and dry it at 230 degrees. And since we have the pan weight and we know our SSD weight was 500 grams, we can take the, the weight of both of those and subtract it from the weight of our dry sample plus the pan and get the weight of our dry aggregate sample.